makeup artist vanished. She wouldn't just up and leave and vanish her kids. She loved her kids. She was last seen at a 7-Eleven with her child's father, but it's what happened when she left that gas station that nobody saw coming. I'm Justin Carter. This is TSR Investigates. <laughs> Where is Alexis Ware? The 30-year-old mother of two has been missing now since January 30th in Anderson, South Carolina, and her family says the sequence of events just does not add up. It is believed that she went to a gas station to drop off her two children to one of the child's father, and then the plan was for both of them to follow each other to a family member's house. But that never happened. For her to vanish like this, this is not something normal for her to do. Alexis Ware's brother Travis says it just does not make sense. He says that authority showed him surveillance video of Alexis meeting up with her child's father, TJ Patterson, at this 7-Eleven. Patterson, in his own words, explaining what happened to a local news affiliate, Fox Carolina. Went to the red light, she went around me and sped off. He tried reaching out to her multiple times, calling her back to back, but her phone went straight to voicemail before you know it was cut off. The family reported her missing two days later, then a shocking discovery. Her car was found in McCormick, South Carolina. Which is about 50 miles south, a rural town with only about 3,000 people. Her purse was left in her car. Her bonnet was on the outside of the car. Her cell phones were inside the car. Is that a place where she frequented? Is that near her house or is... Is her car being in McCormick, South Carolina, suspicious to you? That's very suspicious. My sister doesn't know anybody that lives in McCormick. Um, she has no ties, no friends, no family, no loved ones, no one, period. Her red Honda Accord allegedly covered in mud. Ten search teams, including the McCormick and Anderson County Sheriff's Office, conducting a grid and canine search, but no sign of Alexis Ware. But then a clue. Her family says that her car was seen on highway cameras crossing the Georgia state line. I'm probably sure she was actually driving the car at this point. But there is a video of her leaving, um, going into Augusta uh, from South Carolina, and then also leaving Augusta going back into South Carolina. We're not quite for sure if she was at that point driving her car. Anything in your mind that would suggest that she would do something like this to run away, in a sense? She had a few posts on social media that was kind of, a little bit out of her norm, but she eventually deleted those before she went missing. He says Alexis is a well-known makeup and hairstylist in South Carolina and never went a day without posting something on social media. She has over 22,000 followers alone on Instagram. My sister is a beautiful woman, and I know a lot of people are attracted to her, and they see her posts, and they see all of this that she has, and I'm hoping that this doesn't have anything to be related to her social media accounts. You may come across those select few that may not really care for her, really support her, and may just envy her. The FBI has confirmed they are now on this case, something that the family has been pushing for since the day they reported her missing. You never would think that this would actually hit your family. Um, so this has been very tough for us. Now, there are reports out there that Alexis told family members that there was a black SUV outside of her apartment in Greenville, South Carolina, the day that she did disappear. We also did request surveillance video from the Anderson County Sheriff's Department. They are not making it public yet. But if you have any information about this case, you're urged to call this number. It's 864-260-4405. For